guys, it's Ingrid, and here is my Hunger Games District 11 inspired look. Now, District 11's industry is agriculture, and it's one of the poorest districts, so we're gonna keep this look pretty natural, and I'm just applying a base to my eyes for my eyeshadows. This is just a skin color, and then I'm taking a brown eyeshadow and putting this all over the lid and working it up into the crease. And we just wanna create a little bit of depth, but we don't wanna make things look too unnatural or dramatic. After the eyeshadow is all good to go, it is time to curl those eyelashes and apply some mascara as well. And I'm gonna be using a very natural looking mascara, so this just kind of adds definition, but it doesn't make them look like false lashes. Now since people in District 11 are probably out in the sun a lot, we're gonna use a ton of bronzer. And you don't have to worry about being perfect with this because you kind of want to look sun-kissed and dirty at the same time, if that makes sense. So I'm just like packing on the bronzer here and just going crazy with it. So if you've ever wanted to go crazy with bronzer, now is the time. I'm also bringing the bronzer down onto my neck just so everything blends nicely. And after that's finished, it's time for lip color and I'm just using a nude lip because we don't really want too much color in our lips. So I am going with this one. And then for hair, I am separating my hair so I can do some braided pigtails. And nothing too fancy here, just doing a standard braid and not worrying about making it perfect. If I lived in District 11 and I was out in the sun all day working, the last thing I'd be concerned about is my hair. So that's why we are going for the messy look here. And I'm just finishing up the braid on this side and securing it, and then here we go with the messing it up. So just loosen up the braids, shake out the top of the hair a little bit, pull things out so it looks a little messier and disheveled. Now it's time for the fun stuff. So I'm taking this brown cream makeup and I'm literally just smearing it all over my face. So there is no method to my madness here. I'm just like, where would dirt be on my face? Oh, I think it would be here and here, oh, and, and there too, probably. So you just kind of want to blend this stuff in and it actually works really well for replicating dirt and this way you don't have to put real dirt on your face. I'm also bringing the dirt, in quotes, down onto my neck so the dirtiness blends, I guess, if that makes sense. And then I'm also putting more on my hands because if I were in District 11, I'd probably be working with my hands all day and they definitely would not be clean. So that is my finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later. Bye!